I'm gonna do a super quick review on what has become the most essential piece of equipment in my kayak for kayak fishing. Um, this is the backwater assault paddle. Um, as you can see, it's obviously a hand paddle. Um, what I have, uh, and before I, before I even get into it, um, this is not a sponsored video. Um, in fact, I didn't even buy this. I got this as a gift. Uh, a birthday present from a good friend of mine um, and uh, but I just felt like I really wanted to share um, some of the details and uh, some of the aspects of this paddle that I think make it great I think uh, companies who put time and effort into making good products for uh, their customers deserve some feedback so um, so first of all um, it's uh, Honestly, the, the, the most interesting thing about this is the first time I took it out, I probably used this for 80% of my paddling. So um, I noticed when I went out in the past um, with my regular paddle, uh, you know, you paddle with your typical paddle and you get to your spot and, you know, most of your spot where the fish are hiding are uh, in cover or in tight spots or, um, or you're along shorelines and... Um, the wind or whatever wake starts pushing you a little further on. And I was thinking I just needed something to just reach down quick and do a quick adjustment. Um, so I started looking online and I saw a couple different things, but uh, I didn't really want to spend any extra money on it. So uh, I was uh, telling my neighbor that um, I was just gonna get like a ping pong paddle or just like some toy paddle and just use that until the water got to it and it was destroyed. and. Uh, obviously, he thought that I could probably do better, so he got me this bad boy uh, for my birthday. Um, I did uh, notice it before. I think it runs about $30, um, but uh, yeah, it's essentially um, a trolling motor uh, for your kayak. Um, so, you know, that 20% of the time when you're paddling to get to a, a particular spot, once I get there, my paddle is... Uh, you know in its um, storage spot and it stays there and I'm using this thing uh, in fact I used it not for just like quick simple adjustments once I got to a spot I was using this to go right along the shore I was using this to go like you know several hundred feet without a problem and it didn't feel like um, you know it was a challenge or anything um, and I was moving right along and I was moving along at a good pace um, and I could, I could really maneuver with some back paddles. And uh, so that was pretty great. Um, like I said, it's definitely like uh, the most comparable thing to a trolling motor for your kayak besides actually slapping one on there. So, um, and uh, um, I wanna go over some of the design features here. So first of all, it looks super aggressive, um, which is kinda cool. I mean, it is called the Assault. Um, if you look here, there is, um, kind of a, a skeleton uh, shark on it or a skeleton fish and it's got these uh, ridges here that kind of like tie in with the fish uh, or shark theme and it's got this pretty aggressive uh, hook here uh, it's got a foam handle that's definitely very comfortable and it's also kind of an oblong shape so uh, you can get a better grip on it um, and it's got uh, the wrist lanyard here that you can that you can pop on and uh, so it doesn't get away from you now first of all just going with that this thing floats so um, You know I was on the website. I guess this is just made of a particular type of uh, plastic that floats really well So it's not going to get away from you and if it does it's pretty easy to just uh, snag it so I'm um, going over a couple of these so originally I was kind of thinking that these uh, sharp edges here these jagged kind of tooth edges um, Were just mostly for show, but they're crucial um, and I think it was a really well thought out design plan because um, a lot of times, uh, you know, you kind of pull up, maybe you want to stretch your legs or when you're first launching um, and you get to a spot. And a lot of times for me, it's on like sandy and gravelly, um, a gravelly spot because that's probably the safest spot to, to get out. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's a challenge with your full size paddle because uh, the blade is so thin and it's obviously... Um, aerodynamic and um, and very smooth sometimes it's hard to dig in and plus I don't want to really dig in with my paddle because I don't want to damage it um, this thing is incredible 
you know, it's very thick, um, but not too, too thick that it's cumbersome. Um, but these ridges really do help you to just grab and push yourself off. The other time that they come into play is when you're getting close to uh, down trees or logs in the water to just kind of like grab and push off. You don't have to worry about it slipping. I really felt like they, uh, it was well thought out and that was helpful. This hook, uh, kind of the same facet, like if you're getting into some of these tight spots, this is a very easy way to just kind of grab a limb and pull yourself or in the same fashion, like if you need to correct, you can grab a limb or some kind of um, forge and, and uh, move yourself along. Um, and again, this is, this is definitely a crucial bit. Um, I think it's very helpful. So, um, and as far as getting into tight spots, I mean, I got into a spot that I fished, um, a reservoir that I've fished hundreds of times. Um, and I got into this spot where I could just see through uh, the trees. It was just um, barely large enough for my kayak to fit through. In fact, I tried to get through once and uh, I couldn't even get through because all of my rods and the rod holders were. Um, hitting the trees. So I had to take all four rods out and lay them on my kayak deck. And honestly, if I just had my paddle, I couldn't have got through there. I mean, I couldn't have even like maneuvered. Um, and I wouldn't have felt comfortable maneuvering with the big paddle like that. But this bad boy, I just slowly worked my way into this spot and I came across this spot. It's, it was like a five acre lake on top of the lake that I was just on. In fact, it didn't even show up on the lake map. Um, and it was amazing back there. I mean, it was all these uh, grass beds and, um, and lily padded areas and, and bait fish was nuts back there. So I knew it was an incredible spot and I had a lot of luck. So um, I was pretty stoked about that. Um, so, and obviously it, it wasn't very uh, overfished because no boats could get back there. I mean, literally, and there's also no way you can really get to it from walking just because of the, the spot that it was up against this roadway. Uh, that was kind of uh, fenced off. So, I mean, this wasn't a fishable spot on shore. You absolutely couldn't get to it in a boat. And that's one of the reasons that we love uh, kayak fishing is we can get to places that other people can't. So, um, just a couple of other things. Um, another big uh, cool thing about this is it is made in the USA. So, uh, if anybody's interested in that, obviously it's something that I look for. Um, but I mean, I think that's kind of it. It's incredible. It's really well thought out. Um, I definitely have to give the folks over at Backwater props because they put a lot of time and effort into this. So um, go check it out.